All right, you guys, so this is the end of the problem segment where you guys write into us or you um, text us to give us a situation, a problem, and we help you figure out whether or not you're the problem. You can email us at the just at gmail.com or text us at 678-829-7713. All right, so this one's a doozy. That's long. No, th this is like multiple okay, together. Okay. All right. Hey, ladies, I already know I'm not the problem, but for shits and giggles, hear me out. About two months ago, I decided to respond to this guy in my DMs. We are familiar in a sense of we know the same people, but this is the first time we've actually had a conversation. I knew he had a DM because we follow each other too. When the conversation started to get more lengthy, he told me that he was in a situationship, really just taking care of his responsibilities, but romantically, he has checked out from his DM. As time has gone on, we've talked for hours on the phone daily, linked up for cute dates, and honestly, the chemistry is undeniable. One night, after the cups had run over from Don Julio, he confessed that his situation shit was actually a marriage, less than a year old. He continues to tell me that he enjoys our dynamic, appreciates that he can be an open book with no judgment from me, and he's, felt this, and he's never felt this way with anyone else. Am I the problem for feeling like I'm not about to respect his relationship more than he does? Because honestly, I'm not going to stop talking to him because that's, that's my boyfriend and we go together real bad. <laughs> okay, so I want to hear your take first. No, 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 I know, breathe. Okay. No, so much. Okay, um, no, I don't think <laughs> any. I don't. I don't know how anyone could respect something more than someone else does. Um, you know the saying like you teach people how to treat you. Uh huh. So if you don't think you're pretty, no one else is gonna think you're pretty. That's if right. you don't think you're deserving, no one else will. If you don't think you should have money, you're never gonna get money. Like so, if you don't respect your situation, marriage, why? Why not? Uh huh. Okay. That's what do you think? So, um, as a woman with a husband, shit like this makes me like twitch a little bit because it's like, it, 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 it kind of hits a spot initially because it's like you want to hope that like it's girl power and I'm not about to interfere with that woman's marriage. But at the end of the day, like you said, if you're not respecting it, then I'm not obligated to. And I'm also not obligated to tell Shirley because I'm not going to nobody as a woman. But I also feel like I don't know. Like if I feel like that it was a little shaky. If a dude gonna cheat, like he gonna cheat regardless. So even if it wasn't with you know, yeah. like it's gonna be some real shady, shady shit going on. You can't on. stop nobody from doing what they want to do. You That's can't. why I would rather see what you want to do so I can know how to move with you. That's fair. Lay the cards all out on the table. I will say, um, karma is real. So like. Whatever you put out there and however you're moving, like just kind of expect that shit to come back. Yeah. Peers have intentions. So, um, I think this is a good time to speak on your theory uh, of you as like the worst position to be in is a wife. <laughs> and I think that this speaks to this so fucking clearly. No, I'm be lying. I mean, I don't feel like this, you know. But okay. yeah, Love like sometimes the stupidest thing you could be is the stupidest thing committed to somebody that's one sided. Mm. That's yeah, it. like you be in a relationship, but they don't. But you know who you dealing with at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So is anybody really surprising? Like if this is the person that you sleep, you know who you're sleeping next to. I hope you know who you're sleeping. You next should to. know who you're sleeping next to. And it's not my fault if you don't. And if you don't, you should not want to sleep next to them anymore. Cause that's cringy. That's so fucking cringy to like find out somebody living a whole second triple life. I think it's mind boggling. But I, I think know. there's a such thing as like a spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all don't have it at all, but most of us do a little bit. And it's just like I feel like you should be able to tell if shit's a little shady. You always can. So it's like how you choose to deal with that is totally on you. Yeah. You always can tell. You always know. It's always obvious that some shit is not where it's supposed to be. Just the energy don't be running. We just not phone. We not connecting. We not seeing how to eye here. So who's the problem? 
Um, both. Everybody involved. All three. Yeah, every <laughs> all parties involved. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> all parties involved. Is problem. Problem. But I mean, yeah. I, we'll see what happens with that. I also feel like, um, where are you going? Like, I think in situations like this, I think it's also important to know, like, what do you hope to gain from this? Because, like, some people yeah. will be like, oh, like, I want to take him from his wife or right. or he's telling me these things and we're going to run off and get married together or whatever the right. fuck. And it's just like, is that really realistic? No. And then if it is, like, would you ever feel comfortable because how you get him is how you lose him, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, men never leave. Like, never. <laughs> never, never, never. You have to be the scummiest bitch. Like, they don't leave. Um, they make threats. They cheat. They be one foot in, one foot out, but they don't leave. So mm-hmm. um, I would never assume a man is gonna leave. They say they say a man can't leave. It's like a man can tell me straight up, I am not happy. I don't want to be here. Yeah. And the girl can be like, nigga, it's not over until I say it's over. But then as soon as the woman decides that she's done with it, yeah. like it's done. Yeah. yeah. So she I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so y'all have no say so. That's yeah. Nice. It's okay though. Um, but you know what you get into. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, everybody everybody does. Everybody's grown. Everybody yeah. has like common sense, so everyone knows what they're getting into. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! I hope. Oh, you still didn't put those on there. I forgot. You got so caught up in the end of the problems. It Don't was juicy. forget to um, comment on this. Yes. Problem. Um, send it to your friend. I know you know this situation because everyone's been in it. Um, everyone has been, and not everyone. I have played every role. I've been the one cheating, mm-hmm. the one getting cheated on, mm-hmm. and the third party. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can understand from all points of view. And once you know, you know. I think it's good to have like a well-rounded perspective. And then I think that that's fair because you're not just condemning one person. It's like, ah, everybody has some kind of responsibility in how this is playing. I knew. But I did. Yeah. yeah. Everything that played out, like, I knew that was a possibility of that happening. Mm-hmm. So. Alright. Well. Just yeah. yourself <laughs> into. But, uh, yeah, share this. Um, send us your problems, your friends' problems. They're all anonymous. Yeah, mom and them problems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There could be some old, some new, something you plan on happening. Okay. Anything. Okay, um, at the Just Cause Podcast. Or yeah, pod. everything's in the description.